Are you looking for a multi-generational home? Maybe a luxury home built with artisan craftsmanship? My name is Kelly Ackley with Premier Sotheby's and I am in the heart of downtown Tarpon Springs. Tarpon has a large Greek heritage and we have stores, shops, bars, we have the sponge docks and I want you to know that the home I'm getting ready to show you sits among all of it, walkable to all of these locations. Lifestyle and culture, you're not going to miss anything here. Welcome to 160 Reed Street. This home was originally built in 1920 and served as a Baptist church for many years, but it has been completely redesigned with luxury and comfort just for you. I mentioned it's a multi-generational home and why that is is there are two individual independent living units within this 7,000 square foot property. We have a three bedroom with three baths, two half baths, and then we have another unit, two bedrooms, two baths, and a half bath. There is room here for your entire family. Best part about this home are the exquisite details. Everything has been done either with artists, local craftsmen, it has been updated uniquely. Quickly, I want you to know that this home comes fully furnished and with 99.9% .9 of the artwork. So this truly is move-in ready. detail in this home was continued in the kitchen, right? We have quartzite counters, waterfall edge, love this piece. You've got stainless steel appliances, all Bosch, although you have a Thermador induction cooktop. And I'm gonna tell you, you can boil water in about 45 seconds, so who needs gas, right? We've got bar stools, quick eat-in area, but if you are entertaining, this dining room table is just, a, it's a great showpiece, it really is. It's a live edge table, room for eight, surrounded by these windows. These windows do all of it. They are double paned, they pull out sideways, they will block anything trying to come into your home, except for the natural light, of course, which we appreciate here in Florida. which I think is probably the second favorite gathering spot. Again, perfectly appointed with furniture and decor. You've got this sectional sofa, plenty of seating room, right? Very comfortable, but what it surrounds, this is maybe one of my favorite pieces. I'm gonna say that a lot though, because there's a lot of favorite pieces in here. So uh, maybe I don't have to choose, right? But I love this fireplace. I really, really love it. So as I told you before about the metal work, this too was done by the artist, custom design just for this house, just for this fireplace. The fireplace itself is electric, very, very easy to use. It's a push of a button with a remote, colors change. And the cool thing about it, it actually releases heat. So yes, we are in sunny Florida, yes we are. But occasionally we need to take the chill out of the air. So if you happen to wake up on a morning like that, or it's an evening and you need some warmth, you just turn the heater on, super cool. All of the TVs are Wi-Fi. Everything is smart within this entire home. So although built in 1920 and, and historic look on the outside, this home is absolutely in the future with technology. This is an amazing feature. Every single light in the house goes off when you hit this button. And every single light, every single light in the house comes on when you push this button. So instead of running, right? You're running out the door. Hey, did you turn off that light? Hey, go check your light. Hey, did you? No need to worry. I have not seen this in another home and I've been in several luxury homes. I've never seen this detail, but this was put in by the seller because it's a smart idea. I love this porcelain tile. This was brought in from Italy 
No detail was spared. It surrounds the front door. It surrounds the fireplace, which you saw when we did the fireplace. You've got the marble tile here that goes perfectly with the mahogany door and the porcelain tile. And here in the home, we have this amazing staircase. So again, everything's custom, right? I told you that. So the railings were done by the artist that has done the rest of the metal work here. You've got the oak stairs that were custom stained to match, right? Again, everything custom, but what a beautiful way to get up and down the stairs. Now there is an elevator. This is a three-story home plus a balcony. So if you use the elevator, that's fine. But if you want to use the stairs, why not? And I mentioned, right, I told you about this house being built in 1920. It was actually a church. And the artwork stays, right? This does, 99.9% .9 of it. There's like one or two pieces that don't, but this stays. And I think this is incredible. I think this would be perfect for the new buyer because this is what the home looked like once upon a time. Again, painted by a local artist here in Tarpon Springs. And now we're in one of the ensuite bedrooms. This one happens to be on the main level of unit A. Full bathroom attached, gorgeous details, uh, walk-in closet, Tommy Bahama furniture, Tommy Bahama uh, mattress. The bed even adjusts, it's an adjustable bed. Comes with all of the furnishings in here, all of the tapestries, all of the linens. So it is move-in ready, but again, he has done a beautiful job of appointing everything to flow together. Very large house, but yet it still feels, still feels homey and comfortable. So I showed you what was downstairs. We had the ensuite bedroom with the guest bath. You've got the kitchen, the living room, the family room. But this floor has just as, as much amazing things. You've got this full home office with an amazing view of the bayou. We've got a skylight here that offers actually natural light to the whole house, not just this level. And then, Besides family room and living room downstairs, we have this den. I really think it would be perfect for a family. So I love Tarpon Springs. I raised my family here for 25 years. I can see me and my three children sitting up here watching a football game, watching a Christmas special, watching who knows, right? So whether you use this as a den or an additional family room, that's for you. There are some amazing pieces and we'll get to them when we get outside, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Each of these have their own balcony. So again, it is stone uh, stucco concrete. It's, it's a beautiful Mediterranean look, but you have access to outdoors really from almost any door you've got here. So going down the second hallway, we have the other two bedrooms. So we have a full bathroom here, which is kind of an ensuite. It is is attached to this bedroom, but it is also accessible for guests, which is nice, again, super handy. But this is, again, another well-appointed bedroom. It's very large, oversized, it's got a walk-in closet. My favorite part is the little Romeo and Juliet balcony. Perfect for a cup of coffee in the morning, perfect for a glass of wine in the evening, give you a little bit of outdoor space. Furnishings, of course, all stay. Tommy Bahama as well luxury dressers they all have the inserts the organizers within them everything is slow close linens top of the line and i'll remind you that everything is brand new nothing has been used and it is all for you the new buyer so now we are in the primary suite, the master bedroom, whatever you are calling it these days. I know we're changing things, but this is the largest bedroom here. I wanna tell you something really quick about these safety features because although there are so many beautiful things, the decor, the furniture, the, the artwork is amazing, the design, the everything, it's all great, right? But you are safe here. These doors here, they're not only double pane, but they are heavy steel doors with a, a, a locking system that will keep you and your family safe. It protects from hurricanes. It really blocks out the noise. So these windows, look at this. All of the windows that you see here are going to open like this. So talk about being able to clean the, in, the outside of the window, beautiful. <laughs> no more ladders, right? Or you can still hire someone to do it. But again, 
every detail has been taken care of. The fan, super quiet, it's a beautiful wood fan. Decor on the walls stays. Once again, this is a Tommy Bahama adjustable bed with the mattress. You've got the TV with the Wi-Fi and the surround system. We have speakers throughout every room. So that's something that it can be put on a whole house music, or you can do it room by room. You can adjust it all with that touchpad I mentioned. So. Quartzite here, this is, you've seen this stone throughout the whole house, so this is in every bathroom, as well as the kitchen, it all matches. You've got the maple cabinets, under cabinet lighting, so you can walk into the bathroom in the middle of the night with the lights turned off, and the under lights come on automatically, keeping you safe and getting you into the water closet, which is probably where you need to go in the middle of the night. You've got two choices here, you've got tub or shower, tile work, this tile matches the marble tile by the front door. Ties it in, right? What a great view from this bathtub. If you choose to take a bath, once again, you're looking out on the beautiful bayou. So here we're on the balcony. I'm on the second level of unit A. It has a standalone balcony here. Beautiful views, outdoor living, smart use of space. He's got the gutter systems protected so there will no, not be any rain falling on you while you're out here. But the piece de resistance of this house is up this staircase. Let's go see it. So the seller kept this bell tower. This is the absolute best view from maybe just about anywhere in Tarpon. You've got Spring Bayou behind me. Sparkling water, it's so amazing. So again, an outdoor area that you can come live, play. This is really the showcase, I think, of where you'd want to bring your guests, right? The home is amazing, everything's fantastic, but this is so unique. The bell tower really is unique and he's kept it in beautiful condition. The roof up here, while we're up here, we'll talk about it just for a minute. Roofs aren't glamorous, but they certainly are important. This is a 50 year metal roof that is made to look like barrel tiles. It is pre-wired for solar. So that means if you decide you wanna get solar, you do nothing. There's no damage to the roof done whatsoever. Nothing needs to come up. You just hook it up, solar panels plug in, and you're good to go. He also kept the original chimney. Now that has been removed because now we're on electric fireplaces, but I think it adds just a really cool touch to this house. So I told you there were two units in this home, right? We have just seen breathtaking unit A, but I wanna show you unit B. But I want you to understand, these are separate living areas. They are very private. There was no mixing of the units. So one family lives in one, one family lives in the other. There are doors that lock. So right now we've got on each floor, we've got doors right here that enter whether either you enter unit B, but we are going to use the elevator because although there is a beautiful staircase here, we love it. Who wants to use the staircase all the time? Three stories plus a balcony, right? So let's hop into the elevator and I'm gonna show you a couple cute little features that he's done. So we have artwork on each floor that you're going to be able to see. Just a little bit of entertainment as you're sitting in the elevator, why not? So we're back on the second level, which is really the main level in this home because there is a garage underneath, which we will get to, which is equally as fantastic. But just for flow purposes, I want you to see, this is unit A. So we were in there sitting on the couch, admiring the fireplace. This door does lock from the inside, so it is private, but you can walk right next door and bang on your neighbor's door. And this is unit B. So this is a two bedroom, two and a half bath unit two stories within the unit, and just as equally appointed. I mean, just beautiful between decor, furniture, appliances, all of it. So you've got the quartzite counter, which I love, with the waterfall edge. Again, that's just an important detail. Stainless steel appliances. You've got Bosch refrigerator, Bosch stove. You've got this amazing induction cooktop. I can't believe it boils water in 45 seconds, but it does because I had one, so I know for a fact it does. Um, you've got a bar area here where you can have cocktails. The light fixtures in every inch of this home stand out and are stunning. You've got this very large eight-person dining room table that fits so well. It just fits so well. Um, this amazing light fixture here, again, lights everything up. Plenty of room for a hutch. And the natural lighting comes in from all angles all angles. So here is the living room. 
Uh, this is, has again a sectional couch. It gives you plenty of room to sit. A nice gathering area. I love this. This is quartz as well, of course a rough one, but I love these stones that he's put up here. And we've got this beautiful fireplace. As we leave this gorgeous kitchen, we've got one of the bedrooms. We've got two here, but one of these is downstairs, easy access. Again, I'm not really sure which one's the primary or the master bedroom because they both are equally amazing. They both have walk-in closets. They both have fantastic bathrooms. So we'll see, we'll let you decide. We have a great laundry room here. He's put laundry sinks in every one of the laundry rooms. There's only two, but in both of them there are. Great half bath, the detail and design in this tile work, it means something, right? It means something when you see the craftsmanship, and that's what I love so much about this home is there are details of craftsmanship and care and integrity and, and, and love that shows through every piece that he has done here, whether it's the furniture, the decor, the flooring, the windows, all of it. We've got upscale furniture. This is all Bernhardt furniture and it is stain. King size bed, fits well. These are large bedrooms. You're not going to find any of the tiny little bedrooms that they are building in some newer homes these days. So we've got natural light coming in from these amazing windows we talked about. We've got the full bath here, shower, quartzite counters. You've got the under cabinet lighting. Again, the tile work phenomenal in the shower. I love it. And it all shows such beautiful craftsmanship. So now we're up on the second floor. We're back at, you know, we're still in unit B, but to get your bearings, this is an external door. So we're on the second level. We came through the first, but this one locks as well. Private entrance. Unit A, we've got the den and the office upstairs right over here. But in this one, this wraps around the kitchen. I love this open loft. I love it. So there's a lot of cool things with the fireplaces and things downstairs, but this would probably be my favorite family room. Favorite family room. I think that there's a lot of things that could be done here. The sound is well organized, so there is not a lot of echoes in this house, even though it's so big, ceilings are so high. But we've got tons of natural light. We've got a great balcony over here, views of the water. Again, all of the furniture and decor stays. You've got the TV hook up, hooked up to Wi-Fi. You've got the surround sound. All of these fans are the quietest ones you'll ever not hear. Love that. So doors, windows, we've got something to hidden in the backyard that we'll show you in a little bit as well. That's a little bit of a secret. So we are in the second bedroom of unit B. This one is upstairs with the loft. You know, I've got to tell you, I think there are two master suites here and that's how I would use them. Both of them are phenomenal. Both of them have beautiful bathrooms. Both of them have large walk-in closets. So where you choose to park yourself would be up to you. We're outside of unit B here. We just left the dining room and the living room. So here we have a private balcony just for the use of unit B, right? It is not connected to unit A as we've, we've shown you through this walkthrough. There are separate pieces for each unit, although it can be a wonderful living combination together. So some of my favorite things out here, drainage is important when you've got balconies, you've got tiles, things like that. So what the seller has done is put in these amazing gut, gutter systems. So not only do they drain the water, they do it with style. I want you to notice these porthole covers up here. So this was done again by the metal artist. And I think it's just a, a really cool little touch on this mission style house. Leaving Unit B's balcony, we have the private entrance to the pool area for Unit B. Unit A has their own entrance to the pool through the elevator and through the garage. But there's details that he has continued to keep. We've got the sprinkler system, of course, to keep the landscape great. We've got two gas generac generators that will run this house just in case of a hurricane, a storm, a power outage happens here occasionally. 
outdoor kitchen. We've got stone, we've got, we've got stainless steel appliances, we've got a little mini fridge. All of it is run by gas, right? So you come out here, you can get your, get whatever you would like to cook going on and, and spend some time out here. But if you're not looking to work and cook, you can always sit in the pool. The pool is heated, again, by gas. So if it's a warm day, which we get a ton of those in Florida, but occasionally it gets chilly. Occasionally the heat might feel nice. Everything is drought tolerant. Everything is salt tolerant, which in Florida is very important. But this, I mean, this feature right here is just one of my favorites, right? Talking about a Mediterranean courtyard, he has got the details dialed in. I love the windows. I love this, the stucco. I love the rounding, right? Even these features right here. This, this is a beautiful detail that I love that keeps it looking historic, yet so modern out here. Patio dining area here, you've got plenty of room. He's got two tables, but what you could do out here really is open to you. We've got other options with all of the gas here, the electric here, the sound sound, the surround sound, and the Wi-Fi. So make this as high tech as you want or as relaxed as you'd like. So we've shown you all of the living spaces. We've shown you three bedroom, three and a half bath unit A, two bedroom, two and a half bath unit B. But now, so this is the garage and it's not just any garage. These double doors are at the front of the home and give you access to come in. We've got this extra room over here that might be fantastic for a gym. Extra functional space over here. So lots of storage as well as parking, I would say, probably a six car garage if you have two that you don't use very often. The entire garage, so we do sit in a flood zone because the water's across the street. Everything has been taken into account for flooding just in case. So we've got the breakaway walls where the water can come in and go out if needed. But there is not one thing that would be damaged down here if it floods. So he has replaced all drywall with sheetrock, concrete, stucco, Everything is waterproof down here. This beautiful epoxy floor, very, very sturdy. We've got tankless hot water heaters for both units and they are gas operated. So that's, you will never run out of hot water, right? Two car garage door to get two cars in wide, two cars over here, and then we've got the depth. The elevator starts down here, easy access to get upstairs. And then you've got the pavered parking lot here that's really just wonderful. It's all surrounded by a gate. The gate is electronic. You can have a code or you can have a button to open it. Not really needed in this area as it is a safer area, but it's always nice to feel that you're protected, especially when you go home and go to bed at night. The, there are two properties, two parcels that are available with this purchase. They are separate, but it is available for purchase. So we have a, a tiny home right next door. That one we've thought about possibly tearing down, making more parking space or making it more lawn, a, a playground, maybe a fire pit area. That would be great. Move the fence and bring it back in. Now there's also this turquoise house that the owner owns. I think that would be perfect if you have a caretaker. If you have a live-in nanny, if you have a live-in chef, if you have a live-in housekeeper, what, whoever you may have, that's a perfect area for them to live close by but still be in their space. So we're finished here with the tour at 160 Reed Street in Tarpon Springs. I want to thank you for taking the time to view it with me today. Ending here with the most beautiful views of sunset. And you know what? It happens every night. So this home brings you all of these features inside and then this outdoor living area is fantastic. My name is Kelly Ackley with Premier Sotheby's. If you are interested in this home, please reach out to me. Let's get you in here. Let's get you a private tour. Let's let you see all of these details for yourself. Thank you so much.